the the month and the day the month and the day and then we'll just say okay and so there we have it so there's the month and the day so that formatting then I'm going to copy that formatting down I'm going to put my cursor on the paintbrush button to do that that copies the format and I'm going to paintbrush that way all the way down for quite some ways so that everything we put into these cells will be a date format so there we have that and then I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller I don't need it to be this wide because now I got a small date there the date shouldn't take up much room so let's make it around that size and then the accounts we'll have to probably adjust this one depending on how long the accounts are but we'll keep it where it's at and then I'll typically put the data input to be some kind of blue some other cell without where I tend to work to have a different color for people doing the data input even if it's me doing the data input because I like to be able to visually see where my eyes are supposed to go to change things and where my eyes are uh, can tell very quickly that these are things I'm not going to do the data input typically so I'll right click on it I'm going to format the cells here and typically then I will make them the font actually let's do the font up here because it's probably more clear font group we'll hit the bucket up top and then I'm going to make it this blue if that blue isn't available to you then go to this more colors and you can make it any color you want I mean but we're going to go to the standard colors here and it's on white and I'm going to make it this blue because the Excel is fun guy used to use that color and now that's what I use so that's what I do so I'm going to say okay there it is and then we're going to go to the font item here drop down on the font item and then we're going to go to the all borders so we'll put the borders around it so there we have our data input next we're going to create basically the trial balance I'll try to color code it by the type of accounts we're going to have so I'm going to make this column column I a little bit smaller so I'm going to put my cursor right here so I want a spacer column because I don't want it right next to it make that a little bit smaller like so and then I'm going to have here something like the accounts that are going to be listed in the trial balance then I got the beginning trial balance the entries and the ending trial balance so I'm going to make these accounts a little bit larger now the beginning if I say beginning trial balance I have a problem because I could say okay beginning trial balance that's really long and I want it to fit in this column so I could do this I could go up top and 